Hey my dear family, this is Val and in this video I'll show you this look I'm wearing which is a full glam look. This is my recommendation for you for the Valentine's Day. It is a get ready with me look. It is a full glam super look for this day of the year. So my friend, if you wanna know how this video goes down, carry on watching and let's get right into this video. I have filled in my brows as usual with my lovely Maybelline Express Brow Ultra Slim Pencil in the shade Medium Brown which is very very thin pencil and this helps me to define my brows very very nicely and well and easily and from the other side it is fully. Then I have sculpted them up on the under brow area with my wet and white concealer brush and my Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 20 and on the upper brow area I have um, defined and sculpted and cleaned my brows with my Mon Rib All Day Wear Foundation Long Lasting Natural Finish with SPF 15. This is the foundation that I'm gonna use in my today's makeup look. My today's makeup look, uh, my friend, will be a get ready with me, uh, will be my recommendation for you uh, for the Valentine's Day, day, night, all the day. So, for this look, I'm going to continue with my Fit Me Maybelline, and now I'm applying the concealer on all the lid. Of course, I have told you many times that you can apply on your lid to clean them, to prepare them before the shadows, and I lid a uh, primer. I choose my classic Fit Me Maybelline Set 20 concealer and taking my Wet Beauty Blender, although you can choose a brush like this is a fluffy big brush, but I prefer that to apply the product on the one eye. I'm continuing with my other eye to apply some product of that. You can also take a lid primer and apply it with a wet beauty blender. The most time on my lid and on my under brow uh, and my under eye area as uh, I apply the concealer, I choose uh, to apply the product with a wet beauty blender because I think it's more soft uh, than the than brush and this is soft, but I can avoid the wrinkles. So I tap, tap, tap the product as I'm showing to you on the lid area and now the next step is to take my Sabrina Rudnik pressed powder also a pressed powder and this powder brush to set up the lid before I apply the shadow apply powder I took powder I took the powder and the concealer to be in my natural color of the skin. Although I have seen that some um, uh, beauty mm. artists, beauty gurus, uh, do some uh, primers or some bases uh, for the eyes that they are very, very uh, white, very light. I don't think that you have to uh, do so light, so white colors because uh, the result must be very fake, false. So choose the color like this is for your lid that it is on your natural skin. As you have understood, I'm the person, the makeup guru, the makeup artist that I always insist on natural ways to have a nice, beautiful, glam result. Going to wear my shadow. In this case, I will choose my Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose with this, the classic lovely palette that I have in my collection and I use it, I have in my pants, I have in my travels, I use that palette in many many looks. Taking this fluffy big brush and on the edge this light medium brown orange color to do my crease and the fluffy big brush always tap 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 the excess of the product and starting with a small mirror, of course, to apply the product slowly, softly from the inner part with circular motion to the outer part. Starting from the inner part to the outer part of the eye with circular motion to apply the whole product. 
Love this shadow. This is the transition shade. As, said, as we say, beautiful. This palette, it told me my hand. I can wear it everywhere, every time. Um, with many ways, yes. It told me my hand. Then, continuing with a smaller fluffy brush, a brush more defined and smaller than this, and taking my Ulta palette, Ulta Taisado palette, with this, very, very beautiful, this palette, and I will take this brown, which is a very nice brown color, and I will define most, more uh, my um, inner crease. This is a pencil, like you see, that it helps you in comparison to this. This is fluffier, bigger, bigger, more hair. This is also fluffy, small hair, little hair, few hair. It helps you to define your crease nicely. Always tap, tap, tap the extent of the product. And define the most into the crease. With the same way, from the inner part, always to the outer part, into the crease with circular motion. Continue with fluffy, flat brush, like this is. And taking the Revolution palette. Today I'm gonna use and I'm gonna play between the two palettes of them. And taking also for the outer corner, this which is in the middle, which is um, brown, dark. This is the velvet rose. Taking with that brush, taking the excess of the product, and starting to apply on the outer edge, as you see. Pull it up a little under my brow bone area. Like a triangle. Always tap tap the excess of the product. Sometimes I can use and I can um, uh, inside, turn inside the product. This time I don't want to do this. I am doing something triangle. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Of course, taking some coffee while I work. This is a dark look, so I'm doing something that I'm not doing very often. I'm doing a half cut crease. Taking my concealer brush, as you see, this is by Wet n Wild. You can find in the market very nice uh, brushes affordable brushes. I insist on that I can do a very nice look with affordable product. And taking product and taking my Fit Me Maybelline and I will do with this a half cut crease just to uh, clean the inside area because I, as you see, I use um, little uh, dark shadows so I have to clean up a few, the half part of the lid only on the inner and the half corner to apply a very beautiful green shimmery shadow. I really love this look. I think it's very, very nice. And it helps you, all of you, the most persons of you can do that look. As you see, I'm doing a half cut crease. Beautiful. This is a half cut crease, as you see. And taking, of course, a flat by Cosmo Fan, number 110. This is a flat brush. As you see, this is a flat brush. And I will take by Uta palette. This in the middle, which is a very nice, don't know if you see it, it is a very nice, shimmery green color. And I will apply that on the inner corner with the flat bra I'll apply this on the inner part of the lid beautiful colors my friend this is the look and for the recommendation for the Valentine's Day but a look that you can wear at other times 
in special events in the evening from afternoon till evening. This is not a morning look. Apply very, very nicely when you want an intense uh, look, uh, when you apply uh, concealer, when you uh, clear the lid area, don't set up the concealer uh, with um, uh, a powder. Apply over the concealer your shadow and you will have a very nice look. My friends, I'm trying, especially if you are a beginner, to show you the look of course the colors but I'm trying and to explain you precisely how you can have a very nice look that, like this is and with affordable products you don't have to spend so much money for a look I'm taking my middle finger my friend this on the edge is in a very nice shimmer purple I will take with my middle finger and apply that in the middle, just to connect the green color with the brown. Beautiful. Yes, this is beautiful. Always when we apply an outer darker um, shadow with the inner part, the inner lid, which is the most times light color, we have to connect them with a middle color between the two of them and of course this purple match so nice with the brown and the green beautiful look just a few coffee while I work I need that of course correcting a few my brow I really love this Especially if you have a beginner, put a brow pencil that it is uh, very thin, like this thing. This is by Maybelline. And now, under my brow bone area, I will apply my highlighter, my infallible highlighter. And I will take this, which is a light champagne color, and my eyebrow 103 to apply a few under the brow bone area that's my highlighter I'm continuing with the same way and I will talk to you about this I'll show you in the other eye I will continue with the same brush fluffy big brush with the same color this color by Velvet Rose Reloaded Revolution and I will apply that on the inner crease as we have done before on the other eye starting from the inner corner, always starting the product from the inner corner, circular motion to the outer corner and circular motion and on the under as you see we do circular motion on this part of the eye and up, circular and up as you see, we do that cycle, circular and up Taking, of course, by Usa, this darkest color and this brand, we have told on this, to define precisely the crease. And you see, starting with the same way from the inner part, insist on the crease, deep on the crease and on the other, on the outer part, circular motion. Insist on the crease, of course. The dark shadow, flat brush from Reloaded, this shadow, the dark shadow, taken with the brush, as you see, tap tap the excess of the product and do that a triangle. And on the outer part, not doing a triangle. Beautiful, this color. Of course, as we have told, taking the concealer brush by wet and wet and starting with our concealer, I use Fit Me Maybe in the set 20, this is my shade, and starting taking some of the product and starting to cut, have a cut crease 
to clean the area. Beautiful this color. I really love this makeup look. Starting to cut the crease in a halfway, not in all the lid. And as we have told, we are going to apply our shadow without setting up the concealer. To have a, a resort more intense, taking this flat by Cosmofan number 110 brush and the light green shimmery shadow from this palette. This is a green shadow. And starting to apply that on the crease. I'm starting to apply that on the concealer. Although you can, you could use in this look on the inner part, not a green, but a gold shimmer or some paint color. But it is more usual. So I took the green. That the green goes very, very nice uh, with um, the brown and the purple. And of course. Taking, as we have seen with my middle finger, this, which is a shimmery uh, purple color, taking that color to apply to connect the two shadows together. Beautiful look. Sometimes I don't show you the two eyes that I do. I always start from the one eye and continue with the other. But in this look I wanted you to show you the right way, especially for a beginner, to make you more easy for you to do that look on my lips before I'm going to apply my lipstick on the edge. I have applied my Cores lip balm with honey and this is it. This is like you see a lip balm. And I have applied that on my lip. Or you could apply a lip oil to have a very nice effect. And of course, on the underbrow area, we apply from our infallible palette this with the champagne color. Always take the excess of the product. And continue. Coffee. Always coffee. I'm taking in my um, worry, 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 then my brush. Don't find it. I can take a more small, not a larger brush like this, is, not too soft, a few the edges, a clean brush. So I'm softening the edges and connecting all the product. Always to the clean brush. What I have to do? Eyeliner. On this look, I will wear an eyeliner. And especially the most times I'm using my Maybelline New York Hyper Precise All Day Matte Liner. This is a pen liner pencil. I insist it is easier for you, especially if you are a beginner, to apply your eyeliner with that way, not with a pomade. Start with that and you will see that it is more detailed for you. Let's apply our eyeliner. Starting from the outer angle and applying a line, pulling a line, and then starting from the inner part to connect. And then fill it inside. It is more easy for you that way that I'm telling you. That pen, it is easier for you than to take a pomade, especially for a beginner. To tell you the truth, as I'm a makeup artist many years, I prefer that way. It is more easy for me. There are many other ways with liners, ink liners and others, but I prefer think that this way with a pen liner, it is more easier and quick for all of us and fill in the product always 
pull on the outer part as you see a line, triangle line, and then I take from the inner part, connect the two uh, lines, and inside I fill in with the product. In this look, I could wear in the green liner or um, I have in the brown, but on my opinion, when I want to do a Valentine's Day look, an intense look, a special event look, I prefer always uh, the liner that is black, the blackest black liner. And on the other side, the same. After the liner, we are going on to our to our lashes. Don't know what to wear. For the first part, I'm doing my last, using my last curler. The first part I have to do. And I will wear my black mascara before I wear the fourth class. Then, on the, uh, when I wear the fourth class, I don't put a lot of mascara on the fourth class. I just take my Vortex Mon River Tonic in Last Mascara. I have this on this time, and I will apply a lot uh, a mascara on the upper lashes before I wear the fourth lashes, and I will continue. I will uh, wait some time, two three minutes. I don't know to wear what to wear. I think I will wear this for today. I will uh, wait for some time just to get dry, and I will wear. To tell you this type of last very very beautiful last as you have seen I haven't applied on these 3D lashes um, mascara because I have applied it before of course I will use in that look my eye lure 18 hour last glue London clear latex free and this is my last blue this is my eye look, last glue. I will wear my lashes off camera and coming back, of course. My lashes are ready. And now I'm going to prepare the rest of the face and I will apply, in this case, my, what I'm gonna apply, my primer. Of course, before I have started to do my makeup look, I have done the whole skincare, my eye cream, my stem, my day cream, my SPF, and then I apply, in this look, my MUA Pro Base Oil Free Primer, Water Base and Silicone Free, which is a moisturizing primer that I warm in the middle of the hand, and then I apply the product, on the face, this is the primer that it is good for my skin. If you have a very oily skin, you have to apply a primer that it is more um, uh, matte. I prefer the moisturizing product and never apply foundation before applying your primer, I have to say. And everything is left, every product is left, I always apply it in my neck and in my chest. What else? The other step that I'm gonna do is I will wear the Mon Rival Day Wear Foundation SP15 Long Lasting Natural Finish, which is a medium coverage foundation. I will mix it with my True Skin 030 Neutral Sun. It is a full coverage and a light medium coverage foundation. I will apply the two products on the back of my hand. I will take this with my finger and do some dots on all the face. I will would apply much of the product, this is on my opinion of course. I don't have skin problems, as you see, but I like to have a full coverage. And I always try to mix the color. The, the one is more lighter the true skin, and the moon rib is my natural light. Of course, I will take my Cosmo Fan Brush, number 104, and start to apply the whole product on all the face. 
στέκει δεν διέκτε, θα την του απλάει on the whole face of coat on the forehead and on the down neck. And of course, continuing to apply the foundation with a beauty blender to give a natural effect. Always start with that. Start to apply with a brush and continue to apply. And apply some product, some that had left on the edge, on my ears, because you will have to connect our skin color with the ears, with the neck, with all the face, neck, Ear, all the surface. I really love this wet uh, blender. The next step, of course, in our concealer, I will take my NYX Professional Makeup Bear with Me Concealer Serum. This has a pump, as you see. This is a full cover concealer. So I take it with my middle finger and apply some on the inner corner, on the outer part of the eye. Of course, some dots on the nose, on the nose, on the mustache area, on the chin, two lines near the mouth as the lift effect, and some product between the brows. And of course, taking my beauty blender to apply the whole product. Sometimes. This is a concealer serum by NYX, but sometimes when you want something to do some look in a high and you don't want to wear foundation, apply in all your face this concealer and trust me, it is like you wear a light foundation. I always apply quickly the product and the foundation and the concealer because our products that they are getting dry more um, easily and quick. So, We have to apply them quick. Continue. In this look I will wear Monerive Brown Skin uh, Normal Combination Skin Matte Finish Tant Effect Cream Liquid Bronzer. Applying it with the same product on the tips. This is a liquid product. On the forehead, on the nose, on the chin. Taking this angled brush, always when we apply liquid product, applying them up, circular up motion, circular up motion. Of course you could apply, sometimes I apply the product with a beauty wet blender. And on the chin, of course, and a little down the neck, because we want this tan effect. On the nose, of course, with the same brush. Beautiful this product. It gives me a very natural tan effect look. Continue. Monrive Interstellar Liquid Highlighter, zero one. I apply it with my middle finger on the tip. A few of that. When we apply liquid product, then we have we must apply a powder product unless apply only powder product. A dot here and in the middle of the nose. Of course, and on the cupid bow, and some product that has left on the temple. They are liquid products, we have told that. A little MUA Blast Liquid Cream Blast. A little of that. This is a liquid blast. Taking this bra, applying some product 
to give a lighter effect and tap 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 on the thicker. This is the mix it all. No, I took the watermelon. It is more a little more um, dark the carrot, but it is so nice and don't be afraid of that. Then we apply the powdery product and if you see that it is a little intense when we apply the powders and the powdery product it will uh, be very very nice on that we tap 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 the product and on the low continue with eyebrow uh, powder and my beauty blender starting to Set up the underbrow area, the under eye area. We are starting from the powder. Setting up the under eye area. Then uh, with the same powder I will set up the whole face. Of course. You can apply and set up the whole face and I will do that in the continuum uh, with um, a compact powder. I'm applying and the powder that it is uh, soft and loose and I will continue with the compact. Continue with my moon rib. Compact powder. Powder brush, eyebrow 11. And starting to set up the whole face. The loose powder, we can use it in all the face and in all our under eye area. Not ever lose the compact powder on the under eye area. The compact powder are for the red face. And especially if you are an oily person, to both of the powders. You always need that. So much work today. A few coffee I needed. MUA Bronze Perfection Eyebrow 11 Powder Bronze Of course, a few of them. With the same way we apply over the other bronze. Blast Scanlon Very nice with highlighted peach color. Infallible highlighter. What is that? Uh, this brush and the champagne color we applied on our under brow area, on the thick bone, some of that, on the a dot on the nose between the brow, on the temple, and on the cupid bow, of course. Mm, I'll apply some powder more because the result is a little intense. So I apply some powder more. Beautiful, beautiful. Continue. I will take. I will continue uh, to end with the under eye area. So taking the flat uh, brush and taking the dark shadow, which is this, to apply on the outer part. As you see, that's a few of them on the under eye area. And then I will take the big where it fluffy brush and I will take this with it the cream color I will apply some of that to match this very beautiful look as you see I always apply the darkest shadow and then the cream shadow to match the edge Taking my highlighter with this very nice flat cosmo number 0310. This 
flat brand taking the time highlighter to apply thumb on the inner part of the lid. Thumb of that on the inner part. Don't mat. Black liner for the inner waterline, of course. Black liner. I really love black liner. And mascara monolith only on the under bottom lash. That a coat. Don't ever use much more coat on the bottom lash. If you want. Three for coat on your upper lash. This is Voltec by Mona Reeve and Tony's in Latin mascara. And lip at the end. Lip. Elixir Makeup 053. Classic red. Starting to have a perfect lip. Starting from the heart. In the middle. To tape your, I insist you have to tape your natural lip. I don't overline. If you have many, if you have lips that they are um, more more thin, overline a few of that. Just a few. I will do now my natural lip, starting from the cupid bow, the heart, and going to the outer part. I do my natural lip line and under from the outer part till the middle. I always do my natural lashes, not overlying very much. With that matte lipstick, thick, the classic red lipstick on this look, matte lipstick. I have applied before, uh, as you have seen, uh, the lip band, and then I apply over that a matte classic lipstick. I fill in my lips. Beautiful. This is the classic lip. So much powder on me. Just uh, a minute to correct my brow because with so much powder, we have powder and product everywhere. Just a few to correct the brow. When I wear red lipstick, always do the lip liner in the same uh, color of the lipstick, not a darker or lighter, because it will not look good. We use dark lip liner, to tell you the truth, and I use sometimes dark lip liner, only in cases we wear very light nude lipstick, not in other cases. When we want to wear classic red, very deep brown, classic purple mauve, we have to put the lip liner in the same undertone of the lipstick. And the last step, I had Revolution Fixing Spray Beating and Cream because we have to set up the whole face to make our makeup last during all the day. It is a little wet, so we take our beauty blender and taking off the excess of the wet part of the fixing spray to have a natural night nice effect and at last not have coffee because i need the coffee while i work so many times in the day so many hours in the day my friend this is my complete finished look this time i decided to show you this look in very detailed full glam look because especially for you beginners i want to explain you how you can do a full glam look I hope this video was helpful for you, my friend. 
any other transnational you have, any question you have, leave me a comment below and I will do for you anything you want, of course if I can. So my friends, this is my look for you for today. If you like that video, give it some thumbs up, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Love you friends!